Hello YouTube and welcome to the channel. Now then, today's video is going to be concerning this, the WL Toys 124018. Uh, we're going to be doing an unboxing and a teardown of it. Uh, it's the sort of Baja buggy looking version of that really. And it, I think they're all sort of based on the 14401, which is probably in turn based on something else. Um, so that's what we're going to do, unboxing and uh, teardown of this. Now then, excitingly, uh, WL Toys have got a brushless version of both of these buggies out, uh, probably of the 14401 as well. So in the immediate future, I would expect to see these pair get very cheap. So uh, they might become an absolute bargain soon. Anyway, let's open the box up see what we have okay we have got instructions uh, that little ubiquitous charger that we get that plastic wheel wrench spanner which is absolutely useless why they can't give you a metal one I don't know uh, now the gentleman who has bought this is very very sensibly had the battery deal so I think we've got three yes we have two 2600 milliamp hour batteries there we go three of them Get some of this packaging out the road. We've got one transmitter, which is sort of standard uh, WL Toys Fair. I like these transmitters, by the way, I do think they're ever so good. Um, and we have, last but not least, the, the buggy itself. Now, I do actually prefer this body than the 124019. Uh, so I do actually prefer this. Um, what I'm going to do is we're going to just basically see what we get, tear it down uh, and see what the major differences are and if there's any commonality between this and the 14401. Um, looking at it I can immediately see a lot of commonality between this and the 1419 and you know the 12, uh, the 14001. Do should they give them names and not numbers? It gets bloody confusing. Um, I can see that the back shocks mount differently. Uh, there's no shock tower at the back, which that actually, to be honest, that looks pretty cool. And there isn't a shock. I don't think there's a shock tower as such at the front. Not like the metal ones anyway. Um, but everything else seems very very standard. Let's lift the lid and see what's what we get inside. That's got a pair of pliers. Come get it out oh there we go now handily that bit of the cockpit lifts up to give you access to all the internal gubbins so you can change the battery but from first impressions it does it looks identical apart from the actual body of the thing so let's start oh, let's start taking it apart and see what the crack is okay let's start with the wheels well the wheels are the same 12 mil hex as on the other buggies the 4019 and the 14401 um i think the only difference is is the colorway so they're all interchangeable between all three buggies so if you you're after a pair of tires and you don't mind swapping colors etc all three uh, buggies basically run the same tyres. The other thing I've noticed is on this 124018 they've actually given you uh, alloy wheel hexes instead of plastic ones uh, which has got to be a bonus because every other one I've come across uh, they've always been plastic and and they came off uh, without any real force either. Uh, normally they get a load of glue on the thread so you can't get the bloody things off but in this case everything came off nice and easy which has got to be a bonus well done wl toys now before we go any further with taking the body off just thought i'd show you these cool uh, roof lights that you get um obviously you don't get those on the 14401 and the 124019 i think they look quite smart I quite like those nice little touch there now like i mentioned to you earlier the biggest difference i can see with this and the 4019 is the way the shocks mount uh, on the 18 they're on like two little brackets at the bottom there and they obviously fix to the chassis at the top at the rear um, so the obviously the 19 is on shock towers and on the front you've got sort of a, a plastic arrangement of a shock tower there uh, and then the whole body uh, sort of lifts off just have to undo the few screws at the bottom um, 
Those lights, by the way, I bet you could use the free port on the ESC to run some sort of cooling fan as well, if if uh, that was your bag. So if you wanted to update to brushless, etc., um, you probably got a little space to put your fan. Shocks are off, and these look identical, to be honest, to the 4018 and the 14401, which is not a bad thing, because I think these are pretty nice little uh shock absorber units to be honest um the only difference is really is cosmetic There's, they've got red springs on them as far as i can tell um and they're not leaking which is a, also a bonus i've had a couple of these leak in the box uh, but these ones are all right so um let's just have a quick to be honest it all looks very very familiar i mean if you've got one of the if you've got the 4019 uh you'll probably recognize most of the componentry as you would if you owned the 144001. Um, it's just basically uh, that on a lengthened chassis. But what we'll do, we'll take a few more bits and pieces off and see what the see if there's any other differences. One point of interest is how the rear shocks mount on the bottom of the wishbones. Uh, I don't know if you can make out there, focus. They, they actually mount these little brackets which fit uh, in the slots where the bottom of the shock on the other buggies would normally fit. So that's, um, that's not a little point of interest. So here we have some of the front end componentry and I'm pretty sure if you've got a 144001 or the 4019, you'll recognize all of these bits and pieces because I'm pretty sure they're all the same. The only major difference, like I say, is the way the body mounts. We've got a plastic um, shock tower instead of the metal one. Not sure. I think I'm not sure if that's a good idea because I can imagine the metal one if you have an impact will just bend and you'll probably be able to bend it back but if you have an impact with this thing um, it'll probably break so you I don't know whether you go through a few of these or what now before we go any further I just thought I'd show you the center drive uh, shaft and gears there um, why WL toys insist on uh, gluing this cover on uh, with the screws I have no idea but they're a right pain in the arse to get out um, and I can imagine if you snap one well, you can't get the bloody cover back on so um, why they insist on gluing everything together I don't know uh, but what we'll do we'll take the motor out we'll take the rest of the transmission I think we'll have a strip of one of them diffs and uh, see what the crack is inside okay rear end disassembled and same MO as the front basically uh, if you've got a 14.4001 or the 40.19 you will recognize all of this componentry as it is the same obviously the center drive shaft is longer on the 14 18 and 19 um, to accommodate the lengthened chassis um, let's just have a quick look in one of these little diffs Ooh. Uh, there you go basically the same units now i think the only difference i think there is a difference on the diffs uh, mainly the diff covers on the 18 and the 19 in the fact that they've got these little bosses here and i believe that is to help strengthen these top two uh, lugs because if, if they got an impact i think they used to crack and come off so i think these little bosses here are to actually uh, help strengthen those last but not least we have the chassis and the electrical componentry to look at uh, steering servo exactly the same as all the others um, esc as far as i can tell is identical um, interestingly though it just mount on two bits of foam um, instead of just sticking to the chassis it sticks to uh, the side bumpers as well um, oh match the camera uh, motor is identical to the 44001 and the 4019 same gear ratio interestingly though i have noticed that it's got some thermal paste uh, very liberally applied to the bottom uh, that comes into contact with the chassis so are oh, do they have some cooling issues um i've heard in the, the larger tent scale buggy that they do they have some real cooling issues with it but instead if you've got one of these uh, and instead of running the lights you can just plug a fan in to the light port on the esc so if you are experiencing a, a so some cooling issues you might be able to combat it slightly by uh, the installation of a fan well, that's pretty much the end of the video uh, if you found it of some use and interest please give it a big thumbs up and if you're feeling that way inclined hit that subscribe button for similar future content um, 
but exciting times at the moment for WP, uh, WPL, WL Toys in the fact that we're going to get some brushless versions of these. So if you're in the market for one, hang fire because I bet you when these brushless versions come out, there's going to be some deals on the older ones. Uh, so like I say, if you can hang fire, you might pick up a bargain. Anyway, thanks for watching guys and catch you again soon. Thanks for watching.